when I select a narration, tap the speaker and make it a little louder. What you don't want to do is get a lot of these red and yellow lines up at the top. It doesn't look like I have any, so it's pretty good. And you also want to make them all about the same. So I want to do the same thing to this one. Otherwise, you're going to have loud sections and soft sections. So I boosted the volume and I noticed it doesn't sound very good. It's too loud. So I'm going to go back. I usually boost it close to 200% at the beginning just to try it out. That seems a little bit too quiet still, so I'll take it up a little bit more, maybe up to around 300. Try it again. And I'm going to look especially for the part where it's the loudest. So now I want this one to be about the same. So I'll back that one down to about 300 and then play it. This part seems a little bit loud, so I'm going to move the playhead to the end of that part, tap on it, go back to the scissors, split it, because now I can make that one just a little bit quieter. Just kind of balance it out a little bit. I have this long dead space here in this. Another thing that I do is take out the dead space. When I'm recording and I'm not sure what I'm going to say next. I don't stop. Just let it record. Figure it out. Swallow if I have to. If I need to go back a little bit and say the sentence again, I do that. Because I know I can edit it out like I just did there. I can edit it out later. Now that one I didn't edit out so you could see what an example was. But in the rest of this video... I have edited many silent parts, and it's hard to tell. I just did one right there. You didn't know. I had a big pause between many silent parts. Between many and silent. So I will select that clip. Split. Select the part in the middle. Delete. Now I can tap and hold. Move that over. Put them close together. Do the same thing here. Tap, split. Now I can come over here and tap and split, or I could grab the thick part and move it over and then move the clip over. Now, after I make one of those edits, I'm always going to listen to it just to make sure. Another way to delete it besides tapping and then going to the delete, is tap and hold. Once I have it, I can drag it up. When I get it up here, see the cloud? Let it go. It's gone. That works also if you wanted to delete part of a video clip. Now I can move it over. And this is what it sounds like. 